food is fundamental to life. But today, our eating habits go far beyond simple nutritional needs. Obesity now surpasses hunger as the world's leading food and nutrition problem. Here in the United States, obesity and the issues surrounding it have reached epidemic proportions. More than half of adults and one-third of all children are already overweight or obese. When you really look over the last three decades to try to see how body weight and has changed, what you see is that things were really quite steady for a very long time. And then through the 80s and 90s, you just see this rapid increase in the prevalence of obesity across the country. Researchers now believe the sudden rise in American obesity is due to a rapid shift in the way we eat. Our food environment has changed drastically, but our human biology has not. How we respond to the environment is largely a function of our evolutionary history. We tend to think of our bodies as being static. For evolution to occur, hundreds, thousands, millions of years needs to pass. What we're finding here is that if you tweak something very important to our biology, such as the amount of food or how much we move about, it can have a dramatic effect within a really short period of time. What's really changed in terms of our forager past versus what we are today has to do with the fact that our activity has gone down tremendously. We can now get food with virtually no work. So you can pick up the phone and order a pizza and get a huge number of calories after expending virtually no calories at all. Of course, what we are eating has an impact as well. When we get high sugar, high salt, high fat foods, it overrides our ability to self-regulate. It keeps signaling to our brain, keep eating, keep eating, now's your chance to get a lot of calories. And it's very hard for people to, to realize when they're full. From 1984 to 1994, Americans collectively gained more than a billion pounds. Gaining access to healthy food is not always easy. Today, more than 13 million Americans live in what are now called food deserts, cities and towns that have little or no access to stores selling healthy foods. We remain concerned about the food desert, that is, the access to healthy foods that are really affordable for people. We've also become aware that the food swamp really impacts what we eat and therefore our weight and our health. A food swamp is the urban neighborhood that's full of fast food restaurants and corner stores selling mostly high fat and high sugar food and beverages. Over the past three decades, the popularity and easy availability of inexpensive processed and fast food has severely limited healthy choices in our food environment. This change has also contributed to a startling increase in the average portion of food consumed. Some combination of consumer demand and uh, the marketplace has uh, decided to give us bigger portions with the idea that we're getting more value. When we think about portion size, we're so biased to think about that supersized meal, when in fact the average portion of meat or fish should be no bigger than a deck of cards. With regard to beverages, when we think about consumption across the nation, we are drinking twice as much soda as milk. Soft drinks were always around, but people tended to have a small portion. As the amount of soft drinks available increased, you saw not just the portion size increase, but you also saw machines being put into all kinds of new places like schools. All of this affects our well-being and the well-being of future generations. The impact of obesity is tremendous on the healthcare system. Foremost, it has a large impact on many, many chronic diseases that we see in adulthood and many of the diseases that cost the most in terms of treatment and hospitalization. Overall, it accounts for close to a third of all healthcare costs that are incurred in the United States. We now know the causes of the obesity epidemic are complex. But solutions are being found all around us. Small changes can make a big impact. We can make changes for ourselves individually, for our families, and also in our community. Common Ground is a charter school in New Haven, Connecticut that focuses on environmental education. 
with a working organic farm in an urban setting. Common Ground aims to teach students and the community about healthy eating and urban sustainability. We have several classes that focus on food and agriculture where we get our students to think about what the impacts of their food choices are, both the environmental impacts, the health impacts, and sort of the social impacts of the choices that they make with regard to food. My first year here, I actually brought Coca-Cola and different processed foods with me to school for lunch every day. Now, I rarely even have soda. I avoid processed foods as much as possible. I try to like persuade my mom to buy, you know, organic fruit, organic vegetable, organic everything, you know, to better our life and hers because I want to see my family, you know, grow strong and healthy. It's important to us not just to get our food, make our food accessible, but to really work on a statewide and region-wide level to try and fix a broken food system that makes it very difficult to access locally grown healthy foods. Community programs like Common Ground are starting to make an impact on the way people think about their food choices. With a growing understanding of what has led to the obesity epidemic, we can now make educated decisions on how to best address the problem and how to make healthier choices for future generations.